man. It's football, Bill. Kane, Bill. Me and X, we here with Big Divas in. Divas in, Jamal Johnson, University of Miami commit. Um, Shamanad. Listen, man, Shamanad defensive line is nasty. Mm -hmm. um, nasty. It's, it's nasty. They got Big Allen Hay. Uh, they got Kiana Jamal. Johnson. They got Kiana Jackson. Anybody else on that defensive line we don't know about yet? Kalonje Matthew. Kalonje Matthew. What, um, what grade he in? Sophomore class 2022. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we got class 23, 23, Jason Hammond. Uh -huh. You know, that's gonna be our young boy. That's gonna be the one to step up with Allen. So. Hey, I did. Yeah. I did Friday. Pretty solid. Um, it was the formation they ran. So they, it's, they ran that same formation every game. So what I had to do, I had to move to the three tech, and I was getting double teamed by the tackle and guard. So all I had to do was stay in my gap and make sure I don't get out my gap, so the running back don't run through my hole. So. That's yeah. pretty much what I had. What kind of offense they ran? So you played against who? We played against who? We played against um, um, Bishop Vero. Bishop, 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 yeah. Bishop Vero, right? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, y'all won? Yeah, we won 21-6. 21-6? Yeah. Um, Malik Curtis did anything with that? Mm. Y'all shut him down. You can say it, dog. You say we three. Shut him down. <laughs> pretty quick, though. He pretty yeah. quick. He pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's a quick dude. You yeah. say three, fool. He yeah. said, he said, nah, nah, nah. He balled with the week before he was balling. You know? Yeah. Four uh, touchdowns. Mm -hmm. like that, yeah, so. so listen, what, you play you football. Where you play you football at? I played for the Miami Garden Ravens. Then when I my twelve when I played I had played for twelve and under, I went to PPO Bengals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you stayed at PPO or? for the rest of my um two years until Who I went to high school. Who was at PPO? Um, Coach Roger. You was defense in? Mm hmm. At first, I was gonna play linebacker, but then. It wasn't really working out, so he said, "Come on, move, come on, yes. He put me there for one game. We played Delray Rocks. That's what they. That's what Delray they, Rocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I played. I played defensive end that game. I had like four sacks that game. He was like, okay, 'Okay, we're gonna keep you right there because that's where that's where we see the potential at.' It's fun playing defensive end, ain't it? Yeah, that's real. It's one of them good positions, mm -hmm. man. Like <laughs> it's one of them good positions, but you get all the fame, you get the sacks, you get you know, all. That, that's mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun playing defensive end. Like, um, so 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 listen, right now. So you go, you been in the the whole four years? Since my freshman year. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Jones was the only coach ever had? Coach Damian Jones was the only coach. Tell me something good about Damian. Tell me something, something, something good about Damian. He showed leadership, you know. Yeah. He, he just don't want to just teach us about football. He want to teach us how to be young men, how to prepare for life. And also, he always check on our grades, make sure we're not slipping or falling, make sure no Fs, no Ds. and. He just always show leadership. He just no C's either, right? No C's. Mm -hmm. Straight A's and B's. I got to, especially at that school. I got to. So yeah. basically, yeah, he just always show leadership. Great man. That's that's the only coach I feel like you know that's gonna teach me how to be the young man I need to be going on college and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Two and one, right? Two and one. Um, last week, I had played a close game with uh, American Heritage. American Heritage mm -hmm. played against um, James Williams. He also took the feet of James Williams. He also committed to the University of Miami. Yep. Miami. Um, that game, Thad went down, but thank God he back. Mm -hmm. He was going to go two touchdowns last night, right? Yes. And he scared everybody. Um, yeah. Everybody thought that um, he was down there for a long time. I don't know what that was about. He yeah, that was pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> he ended up getting that, was, that was scary. They carried him off the field. You know what I'm saying? We got up out of there. I thought y'all, I thought I had predicted y'all to beat American Heritage. Um, what you think? What, what went wrong in that game? Y'all offense seen, I mean, y'all got one of the best offensive coordinators that I know, one of the most creative ones. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, it seems like the offense seemed to be kind of like stagnant, stagnant, stagnant right now. Um, what, what do you think? Why do you think that game was close? Um, I'm not gonna all, I'm not gonna only blame it on the offense because yeah. it's some stuff on defense that we made mistakes on too. But you know, our offense working hard every day, starting with the trenches, the O line. We trying to make them better because you know it's still fresh cats on there too. Right. So basically, we're not gonna put it all on the offense because it's some right. stuff that we could have done too. But um, every day, our offense work hard in practice. You know, mm -hmm. make sure they gotta do what they gotta do because what Coach Jones always say: until we get the selfishness and get the me 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 out of it, the team gonna go off. Yeah. So yeah, he said, I got a little selfishness going on the team. Yeah, he felt like it's always like a me, me, me thing. So he said, once you get that out of there, it's like the team going to take off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So recently you committed University of Miami. Um, what went into that decision? Just one day I was just sitting in the bed. Like, I got, what I got, I got a dream book. So I just write down on my dream book. Like, all the dreams I have, I just write it down. And lately I've just been seeing, like, I'm always shaking Manny Diaz's hand. Like, we just anywhere, I'm just shaking Manny Diaz's hand. I just keep saying, UM, UM. I'm like, dang, 
is this the spoon? So it just like one day, big baby, you know, big baby, yeah. text me. It was like, yo, you think about committing to UM? I was like, because at first I made a tweet. I was like, Kings fans, how y'all feeling? Yeah. Started blowing up off of that. He was like, hey, you gonna commit? I was like, if they let me, I will. I'll commit right now. He was like, okay, let me get on the phone because many Diaz. Got on the phone with them. That's when I called him. He answered. He was like, tell me how you feeling about everything. I was like, I'm feeling good, coach. I feel like this is the best decision I'm finna make so far. He was like, telling me about the school. He was like, what they're trying to do, they're trying to not just make this a good team. They're trying to make this a national championship team. Mm -hmm. And that's the goal. And that's when they were talking to my mom. My mom was like, you know, what Jamal gonna do? He gonna put in the work. Jamal gonna put in the work. Y'all don't gotta worry about him. As long as y'all do y'all part, he gonna do his part. And that's when he was like, he want me. He was like, um, great kid. He's like, I'm big and athletic. Mm -hmm. And that's when he was like, he could really see me doing big things at UM. I was like, I know Coach, yeah, I know. Him and Coach Shaw was there. Yeah. So that's when it just got real quiet. But Manny Diaz was like, all right, Jamal, just say the word. I was like, Coach Manny Diaz, Coach Shaw, I'm committed to the University of Miami. Yeah. And that's how it went. But uh, any other schools you was considering? Mm -hmm. I was considering um, Pitt, Kentucky, Ole Miss, Georgia Tech, and Iowa State. You visit any of them? No, nah, not yet. Cause you know with the whole pandemic, so right. everything just threw a monkey wrench and everything. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you plan on taking visits? I plan on taking yeah. visits. I still want to. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it's, an I, it's an experience, man. I mean, like I tell kids all the time, I don't know. I mean, if if you don't know what the future holds, right now you're in a position where people are sought you sought after, people running after you, they blowing up your phone. Um, experience. It. Mm -hmm. You know, do, do your thing, experience it. That, that's how I feel. I mean, take take the ride, ex experience it. Cause you don't never, you don't. This may be the last time anybody ever be kissing your hand. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so you can experience it while you got it. Don't take it for granted. And um, yeah, I encourage kids to, to take to take their visits. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, take them vacations, mom. <laughs> take the vacations. <laughs> take them vacations. Out the first thing mom say, man, y'all yeah, finna vacation. get this food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this experience. So listen, so who 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 was recruiting you the hardest? Like who was the school that was blowing you up? Like it was like, man. Kentucky and Georgia Tech. Kentucky and Georgia mm -hmm. Tech? They coming for me real hard. Yeah. yeah. Stoops over there at Kentucky, yeah. He uh When you say hard, is it like they call you every day, they call you three times a day, they like Coach Grant tried to make it two times a week at least. Yeah, they mm -hmm. call you two times a week. Mm -hmm. Your phone ringing all day long every day? Mm -hmm. Georgia Tech, right? Yeah. By Georgia Tech, sometimes Ole Miss will pop in, check mm -hmm. in from time to time, and but it's really mainly Kentucky, Georgia Tech, yeah, Pitt too, Recru but yeah, Recruiting you real hard. yeah, it's Georgia Tech, Kentucky mainly. You get aggravated? Nah, I know how to maintain. That's the thing. I don't, I don't. My patience don't run real. Like I don't really get frustrated like that. No. I know how to like stay calm because that come all that come with meditation. I know like, I like to meditate a lot, so I like to relax my mind, calm. What are you about meditating, boy? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, Who that's, you get that from? Where your mom? Where you get that from? Who's I got this. Got this from her too. Yeah. yeah. Meditation. Yeah. Come to your mom go tell. Mom, does it ever get aggravating? All the phone calls and all the selling and all the lying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't get aggravated. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get in my head. Yeah. yeah. You got something with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We played Shamanai. Shamanai is one of the top programs in, in, in the state, the nation, actually. A um, lot of talent. How does it, how does it, you know, how do you feel playing on that team knowing that a team so talented, you're going to have a bunch of colleges coming out there, uh, players picking and choosing. Um, sometimes it can get dis dis distracted mm -hmm. um, being on a team like that. And then, um, Play on the team with uh form with uh few, few Kane commits. Mm -hmm. Uh anybody else I don't know if anybody else committed to another school, but um like how do you how do you like how does that feel playing on that team like that? It just feels good and like knowing that Shamana is like the pipeline for you it just feels really good. Now I'm a part of that. I hear that, you heard that? So <laughs> Shamana is heard that? Shamana the pipeline. Shamana the pipeline. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, so it just feel real good just to be able to play a part of that because you know Shamana is a school where it um, teaches us how to be young men, how to be disciplined for college. You know, they're just not focused on fo just the football team. They're also concerned with the academics, make sure you get your education too. So it's just really like I, in this person I am, the person I am, that's the school for me, you know. 
I wasn't, you know, raised like being like no public ghetto school. Like I feel like Shamana was the right choice for me. So that's yeah, why I went there. Right. The education, of, yeah. Right. Because at the end of the day, I got one goal: that's to get to college. So. Yeah, it is. Well, listen, we're sitting here with Jamal Johnson. Um, we're going to be right back. We got more questions to ask Jamal. It ain't over, bro. All right? All right. Man, man y'all make sure y'all make sure y'all go follow my man, man. Um, we got 2,000 followers. We're trying to get this man to three grand, all right? We're going to pump you up, though. Humble soldier dot underscore. Huh? Humble soldier dot underscore. You got to say it like you mean it, though. It ain't going to come. <laughs> Humble soldier dot underscore. Say it with some swag, though. Humble soldier dot underscore. All right. Don't take three motherfucking things, and that's what? It's the Bossy, 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 Bossy,